Okay, so today we're going to show you guys how to use the Reflux Shield. You can um, obviously get this on the website refluxshield.com. And Scotty here has a really good shaped rib cage, like most of us have it. Okay, so his rib cage is like mine, where the ribs come together at a point. And his xiphoid process, you can feel it, the ribs come up. It's a sharper angle here that you can see, okay? So um, that being said, when we put the reflux shield in here, in between right below the xiphoid process, where the ribs come together and meet, that's the center right here. And then the device is right at the center and just to the left as well. So it's, this is about you know an inch and a half long, the skin applicator here, from here to here. So we're gonna place the side of it, so it'll be, when you're um, holding the device with the Reflux Shield logo, right there, you can, it's hard to see. It's the same color as the device, but it's engraved in. And with that facing up, you're gonna go ahead and place this right in the center. So the right side of the applicator will go into the center and then just to the left. So it's not perfectly centered, that would be perfectly centered. We have it just left of center. Now. Some people have a, their stomach that's right in the center. Some have it slightly to the left. Most of us have it just a hair, you know, a, a quarter of an inch to a half inch to the left of center, to the left of the xiphoid process. That's, that's gonna be the center, your, um, your point of reference for the center, okay? So then when you stick it in here, you'll see it's at an angle here. So one face, one angle, you know, towards the shoulder and towards his hip here. So. When he's scooping this down, he's gonna wanna turn this handle to the right a little bit, just slightly, not even a quarter of a turn, but just so it's flattened when you slide this device down, okay? It's really important to do that because otherwise he's gonna slide it down like this. And this is, when you slide it down this way, it's less surface area. But if you do it this way, that's an inch and a half wide, more surface area. So you're more likely to grab onto the stomach, okay? And I'll uh, zoom in a little bit and show you how that works. Okay, so as I said here, here's where his ribs come together, here's where his xiphoid process is. So, if we follow the rib, his rib's at an angle. Some people with a barrel chest, their ribs are kind of more flared out that way. His is at an angle like a TP, like I've shown in the other videos. Similar to mine, and similar to most people, how their rib cage is gonna be um, shaped with, in the front. So see, again, here it's at an angle. If you slide down this way, you're not getting all the surface area of this skin applicator. This whole piece here, inch and a half long piece here, is supposed to help scoop down and pull the hernia down, okay? So we're gonna start here with it following the angle of the rib in the park position, right? It's like it's an automatic, you wanna angle it towards your knees, towards your feet, okay? And for those of you that can't see, there's about a 45 degree angle between the ball, the handle, and his stomach here. So this is straight up, this is where we wanna start so that we can get that right up under the rib and, and grab onto the stomach and pull it down. And, and he's gonna put one hand and then the other hand on and breathe in and out and take your time. Make sure you've got it in there really deep. You see I have it about a, an inch in already um, into his stomach. If you're overweight, it's going to take more for you to get through that belly fat. If you're thinner, like Scotty here, it's a little bit easier. I will, um, I will say that. So, you know, belly fat does matter, okay? And you're gonna have both hands over and you're gonna maintain that pressure. And once you feel like you just can't, you know, it's, it's really uncomfortable or you feel like you've got it deep enough, you hear like a gurgling sound, then that's the sign to go ahead and go to neutral, to drive, maintaining that same pressure, and then first gear and slide it down. And you can ease up as you get towards the, the belly button, okay? You don't have to maintain that pressure. And that's how we do it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna watch Scotty do it because um, he wants to make sure he's doing it right, and uh, I want to make sure you folks who have spent your money, your hard-earned money to buy this product, I want to make sure that you guys are doing this right and that you're getting the most out of this product. So please bear with us, watch this video. If you have any questions, of course you can contact us at refluxshield at gmail.com and through the website, refluxshield.com. So go ahead, Scotty, and go ahead and get started there. So his xiphoid process is right here. I'm gonna put my finger on it. 
Okay, see how far, see how there's a gap? There's about a finger width gap between my finger, the xiphoid process, yeah. and where he has his device. Yeah. It's a little bit off. Actually, he's a little bit past the stomach. So if you don't grab onto the stomach, you're not gonna get any results. So what I want him to do is move it over to the center more right there. It's a tight fit in there, right? And it's really important that you grasp onto that stomach and scoop it out. There you go, so now, yeah. Yep, and you can use your other hand if you want, if, okay. if, that, if that helps you, but without the other hand on top of here, you're not gonna get as much leverage. So what I would suggest is taking one hand, taking your other hand, you're in park position. Okay. Push in, push in, take a minute or two, breathe in and out naturally. And if you need to take two minutes to get it in there deep enough, that's fine. If you feel a pulsation, you pull back a little bit but you're ready to go ahead and begin the maneuver. So once you have it in the depth you wanna to get to, you're then gonna to go to neutral, maintaining that constant pressure. You're gonna to go to drive and you're gonna twist it a little bit because of the angle of your ribs, yep, and like that. And you can use lotion if you want, right? And that twist is just a slight, it's not even a quarter of a turn twist. Yeah. Just um, slight enough to turn it like from this angle to this angle, so you're, you're getting the whole surface area rather than sliding it down like this at an angle, right? So you are just a little bit too far left. So again, this device, the, the side of the device, the right side of the skin applicator should be right below the xiphoid process, so right in the center. And if you're not getting results, you can do it right exactly right here in the center. You're not gonna hurt yourself if you line it up, the center of this device, with the, the uh, xiphoid process, okay? Some people have their stomachs exactly in the center. Most people have it a finger width at most, at most, to the left of the center. Thanks for tubing in.